Hello and welcome to our immune series. Today I will be speaking about stress and inflammation in the body. There are a few things that you may not have considered. I'd like to thank Ashley Jang for collaborating on the content of this video today. Ashley Jang is from Vancouver, British Columbia. Thanks, Ashley. So have you ever considered what the word disease means? When we have disease in the body, we often think of a name. What disease do you have? I was diagnosed with this disease, that disease. Have you ever stopped to think about the name disease? What if we look at it like this? Dis-ease. Disease in the body is a symptom that there is dis-ease in the body. Often before we see diagnosable disease, we see signs and symptoms of disease. And this is caused by what we call inflammation. Inflammation can be triggered by stress. Inflammation is also a sign that the body is under some kind of stress. When we study medicine, we learn that inflammation is an area that is red, hot, swollen, and or painful. In essence, inflammation is a sign that something is wrong. Without an obvious external cause of injury, inflammation is a warning sign that something is amiss internally in the body. Inflammation is one of the ways that our body defends itself. It is a response to help defend the body. However, when inflammation becomes chronic and occurs over a long period of time, it can cause harm. We need to find out what is causing this inflammation, what is causing this stress. Inflammation can either be acute or chronic. When we speak of acute inflammation, we are speaking of things like injuries, surgeries, colds or flus, this type of inflammation has a very clear start and end point and resolves over a short period of time. Long-term inflammation involves more inflammatory processes and is a more complicated process. It can leave us prone to some of the chronic diseases that are here, among others. There are some key signs that you may be suffering from an inflammatory process. Let's have a look at them. If you have difficulty sleeping or are always sleepy, persistent pain with an unknown cause, brain fog, memory impairment, digestive problems, if you're gaining weight without explanation, or you have multiple skin rashes or new skin rashes, you may be suffering from an inflammatory process. There are anti-inflammatory medications that are sometimes necessary. One of the over-the-counter medications that we often recommend is ibuprofen, or commonly known as Advil or Motrin. Sometimes these are very helpful. However, they should not be used over long periods of time. They can be irritating to the stomach and they can also increase blood pressure. Please speak with your pharmacist before taking any of these medications. If you do find that you are needing an anti-inflammatory for more than a period of a few days, you should be accompanied by a pharmacist or a physician. Anti-inflammatories will help to reduce inflammation, but if the problem is ongoing, you really need to look at the root of what is causing it. And remember to always ask your pharmacist before picking out any kind of over-the-counter supplement or medication. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care and stay healthy. Bye-bye.